In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do a nice smooth zoom in by using the awesome plugin 3D Warp here in Media Composer. Now, of course, 3D Warp comes with Media Composer. So if you have Media Composer, you will have 3D Warp. And I was just editing this video here about a pre-workout supplement and thought I would just show how to do this technique. It's really simple, really easy to do. So as you can see, we have some information coming on the screen here. And that's zooming in a nice sort of zoom in there, nice and smooth. And you, you can see here on this information that we have coming on screen. It's not zooming in at all and it just looks better. It's, it's, you know, just a much better look, much more interesting look if we have that nice zoom in. So let's come over here to our effects. Here's the blend 3D warp. We'll just drop it right on our clip. Come over here to effects mode, open it up. And since I want to start this zoom from the beginning, make sure our playhead all the way at, at the beginning and then we'll add a keyframe. So I like to just click the button and choose add to all parameters. You can also use the add keyframe shortcut, which if you don't know what it is, you can go over to settings and double click on your keyboard and you can see right here is our add keyframe button. I'll just move our playhead around. I'll hit the key and there's keyframes. I don't want to do that. So just keep in mind, you can use the uh, shortcut there. Undo that. So we've added our first keyframes. I wanted to start the scaling here up a bit. And of course you can actually do the scaling first if you want and then add your keyframe. So we'll say start there and at the end, I want it to be up higher. So I'm going to add a keyframe first. I'll just add to all parameters and then I'll just click on our scaling. And I'm just using the arrow keys on my keyboard and just scaling that up a bit. So there we go. Now you can see when it plays back. It's a nice smooth sort of zoom in there. It's really just that easy. And then I'll just go through and, you know, do that to the rest of these. So I'll come back to 3D Warp. And of course, you can do this on pictures. Now, this this is an image, by the way, but we'll do it with a picture here, which which would probably be more of what you would use this uh, technique for. But just as an example, we'll do this again. Pull this up a bit higher here. And I'll just use a shortcut key this time. Add our keyframes. Come down to the end and we'll add our keyframes. Then I'll just click here. I can use my arrow keys to get this about there. I can go ahead and render this if I want. It renders really, really fast. Okay. So now you can see that playback. And that looks much better than just a static image there. Right? So let's come down to the end here. Now we'll just cut in these pictures just so I can show you how this works. With pictures, I'll just cut that in. And we have another image here. I'll just go ahead and cut that in. Pull this down a bit. And let me actually trim this down. Just for the sake of time. And we'll just throw this down here. Hold on to controls just so it snaps. There we go. Come back to blend. Now if we just look at this. It's playing back. It's just static. That's not very interesting. Of course you'd probably put like a music bed or something under this. So we'll go to 3D Warp. Drop it on here. Open this up. And what do you say we start zoomed in a bit? Maybe adjust the picture. We can adjust it directly here. We'll say there. And actually, I should have we control Z that and make sure I'm at the beginning there before I add my keyframes. Just going to add a keyframe there. And we're going to have it sort of ease in. So we'll add keyframes and we can, of course, use the mouse. We could also do a zoom out, but since this video is about zooming in, sort of easing in, that looks pretty good. And we can see what it looks like there. Much more interesting than just a static photo. Okay, and by the way, you can do this with all of your other parameters as well, but this video is just about scaling in. All right, so if we play that back, that's much more interesting, especially if you imagine a music bed underneath that, and then it will go to the next picture here. Not that interesting, so let's go ahead and zoom in there. But before we do that, let me hit Control Z. What if we want to use that same zoom in with the same parameters? Well, we can do that. Let's go ahead and open this up. As you probably know, we can save our sort of presets just by grabbing it here, dropping it into our bin. Now all the settings and the keyframes that are already applied to this effect, to this exact 3D warp, will be applied whenever we just drop it from our bin, just drop it right onto the next clip. So now instantly, it's already zooming in. Now. It doesn't work that great on this clip. It's a little bit too high. That's not a big deal. 
we could go in there and adjust however we want. So we could come here and I could pull it down just a bit. And it's going to go up. So then we come over to the last keyframe. I'll pull it down a little bit. You can see I'm making sure those line up. So there we go. That's how to do a nice, simple zoom in using the 3D warp effect using keyframes here in Avid Media Composer. Really great effect. And of course, you can use this effect and use this technique, I should say, on video as well. So here's back to our video that we're, I'm actually editing right now. Let me just mark a couple edits here. All right. And say for some reason we wanted to zoom in on the actual video. You can do this on video as well. I just want to show you. You can do this on video as well. It doesn't have to be on pictures, but I imagine you'll be doing this. Uh, at least this exact technique, mostly on pictures, although you can do it on video as well. And by the way, keep in mind, if I wanted to zoom into a certain point, I could say drag my playhead to about here and uh, I could add keyframes there. And we can zoom into say 119 between these two keyframes and then it will hold there and then we'll add another keyframe here just so it holds between these two. And then right here, we'll add more keyframes and this time we can take it way down. Okay. So there we go. And then you can see that playback. Okay, so there you go. A nice, simple technique to make your editing, specifically with pictures, look a lot better. To have that nice zoom in. And of course, you can also do the nice, simple zoom out. Just reverse the direction of your scaling. Of course, real easy, real simple to do all with our 3D Warp plugin here in Avid Media Composer. And of course, remember, if you want to reuse the exact parameters, always save that preset in your bin and you can reuse it just by dropping it right onto your clip and you're good to go.